Do you believe Jesus is God or do you believe he was someone sent by God? Jesus was just the son of God, like. Well, how do you know he was the son of God though? Do you believe that God can be born? Yes. No, God's not born, God doesn't die. So if God's not born and God doesn't die, how could he give, how could he have a son? Wow. Think about it, think about it. Street, street tower. I was almost marrying. That's another story within itself. Bro. Uh, yes, uh, I was about to marry a Satanist, right? Bro. Subhanallah. And she told me one of the ways that they contact, contact the shayateen, and to get in these trance-like states is they take teas, bro. They take teas. Like they teas do they, and all that? Yes, yeah. bro. Yes. Because, you know, it unlocks a different type of mind and a different realm yeah. of you, bro. Yeah. And she was telling me of how one of the things that they allow the jinn to, they didn't call them a jinn. They called it a, a spirit. The empty entities. Like, like, yeah. like they, they called their spirit. Assalamu alaikum, guys. We're back with another episode of Street Dawa, Canada edition. We're doing the takeover right here with the three Muslims. The other Muslim is behind the camera. MashaAllah, barakallah, guys. We're going to come out here, talk to people about the beauty of Islam, give them some Qurans, give them some gifts, and take it from there. If you guys like this, make sure you subscribe and thumbs up and all that stuff too. And check out their podcast as well. They literally have the realest podcast in the dunya. Without further ado, Let's get out here and give some street dawah. Good evening, guys. We're doing some public interviews right now. We just wanted to get some thoughts from you guys. What do you think? What's up? Yeah? Oh, see, I like this. I like the vibe already. I like the vibe already. What's your name, bro? Jason. Adrian. Hi, Justin. Justin. I'm Rami. Nice, nice to meet you. you. And you? Logan. Logan. Sebastian. Sebastian. What flavor is that, Sebastian? Uh, Oreo. Oreo. Good man. I'm, I'm actually the Halal Drake. Yeah? Yeah, I'm the Halal Drake, okay? He's going to ask you something, okay? All right. All right. You guys done? What's your purpose in life? What's your objective in life? I guess you have have to give mad cash. Get mad cash? Yeah. Okay. Have fun. Have fun, okay. Um, I want to make a difference. Like, I want to be able to impact people's lives. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to just live for me. I want to live to make other people happy. Very noble. Okay, I like that answer. How about you? I'm going to go with, like, live, love, laugh. <laughs> live, love, laugh. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, if I were to ask you, where did you guys get these objectives, these purposes from? Being broke. Being broke. Yeah, so that experience, okay. And how about you, Josh? Trying to have fun. Trying to have fun. So you had fun, and now you want to have more fun because you had that fun. All right, all right. I think it was probably just the way I was raised. So I've just always had at the back of my mind, like, never to take life for granted and to always help other people around you. You got your purpose from a book, right? Which actually, I don't think is a bad thing. And I'll touch on that in a second. You'll see why towards the end. So what if I told you guys that your objectives, your goals are not actually your objectives. They're not actually your goals. They're actually a byproduct, a result of experiences that you've had and experiences that you've had. We live, and no one can deny this, in a very liberal society. What is liberalism? Do you know what liberalism is? No, not really. No. You hear about it, right? Yeah. But what is it? Liberalism is the actual ideology that teaches you, go for whatever pleases you. Now, happiness is important, but where you get it from is also very important. What do you believe happens to you after you die? I honestly don't know. I hope, I hope we end up in a good place, though. Pretty much none, man. I think it just goes black. It just goes black? I think that's it. That's it? That's it. Yeah. So, so, Adrian, what stops a person from doing good or bad if it just goes black? It's like your moral compass, like how you feel. Like, if you feel bad about something, it's kind of really is. Like. Okay, so let's suppose a Hitler, right? He did all that bad, so he just goes black and that's it? Pretty much. Yeah? That's what I believe. Yeah, okay, no, that's fine, that's fine. Do you think we should help build a Dawa Center and Masjid in Norway? 100%. Yeah? 100%. Now, I'm actually asking you guys, do you want to help build a Masjid and Dawa Center in the country of Norway? If so, click the link down below and donate whatever you can to secure your Akhirah in this historic venture. Join me and Islamnet as we make history in building the first of its kind Dawa Center and Masjid in the country of Norway. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to support this amazing initiative and let's make it happen. Do you believe something happens to you after you die or where, where is your mind on that concept right now? I mean, I don't doubt it. I mean, I hope there is, but you never know. I hope so. We're going we to try to get enough there, but if we not, we party down there. So, so you, oh, okay, well, that's an interesting thing. What about you, Oreo? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Do you think? Do you think something happens to you after after you die? Yeah, you get either sent to heaven or or hell. Oh, so I'm hearing a common thing that there might be a might be a heaven or hell. So you believe there might be heaven or hell? Yeah. 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 What makes you feel that way? 
It's just something I've grown up with all my life. I have doubts sometimes, but Endgame, I believe that there is a God and there is a heaven and a hell. Do you think there's heaven and hell? I know there, there's a heaven, yeah. You know? Yeah. Why do you know this? Because I have a lot of family that experienced death. Really? Okay. And they saw another dimension, so right. I believe in it. You believe in it? What makes you think that there might be a heaven or hell? You just gotta look at it like how we get here. Mm. Like they say all science, but like nah, the Bible shows everything. Okay. It's not just the Bible. If you look at all religions, it all lines up in some way. That's some connective yeah. sort of fever. I, I feel that. What about you? What makes you feel like there might be a heaven or hell? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I dropped out of the 10th grade. So, uh, <laughs> listen. I, I don't know a lot here. Listen, listen. <laughs> You stop playing games with me, all right? <laughs> if you're saying that after you die, there's nothing is completely blank, right? Then a person really has no reason to be good or to be bad. Because whether you're good or bad, the end is still the same. I feel that. You get me? I hear but, you but we understand that there is a good and there is a bad. Yes. So don't you think that it would make more sense that if there was something... Like, think about it, right? This is obviously a loved one of yours. Yeah, yeah. So you're telling me you develop these amazing relationships. Maybe one day you guys get married. You have a child. You have some children as well, too. You have a beautiful family. And then you just like... Peace out, bye. Like, you, you, know I mean? you don't think that it would make sense that if there was a place where you guys united together? I feel like it makes sense. I feel like a lot of people believe that, and that's what yeah. keeps them going, right? Yeah, right. A lot of people, not everybody, though. Not everybody. You know so, saying? do you believe that there might be a heaven or a hell? Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Look, this trip is gonna happen to everyone when they die. You gotta be ready. I feel that. I Does, feel that. You I feel I mean? like you believe. You know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I see where it's coming from. Again, like I'm open to be proven wrong. Yeah. Hundred percent. You're open to be proven wrong. Okay. And you know what? That shows a beautiful quality about you, Adrian. Do you believe in God or like yeah. a higher power? God, because I always pray, and God always answers my prayers. What do you mean by that? Say I'm having a bad day, and I tell God my my problems, and He answers them. He, he makes everything better. Okay. So you mentioned God does this, right? Yeah. So do you believe in one God or multiple gods? There's only one God. What do you think decides if a person goes to heaven or to hell? Yeah, the deeds you do in life. The deeds you yes, do the in deeds life. Deeds Interesting. Life. I agree with that. Yeah? Yeah. Some type of deed that you're doing, right? Yeah, of course. So is it safe to assume that you guys believe in some type of higher creator, higher being? Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Yeah? yeah. Do you believe that there's multiple creators or only one? I don't exactly know. I feel like something did create us, but I'm more to the point where I want proof. So how about this, right? What if I were to tell you that there is a creator, right? One thing that we'd have to agree upon that there's only one creator, right? And let me explain why I believe that there would only be one creator, okay? The symmetry in everything that we have indicates that there is one creator. There's something called the golden ratio. Have you ever heard of that concept? No. The golden ratio? No. You ever heard of that? Okay, so the golden ratio is this mathematical concept that everything that has life, right? Everything that's a creation within itself has a mathematical geometric sort of rule or design that all lines up that. So look it up. It's a very interesting concept, right? Which indicates because it's always there that there had to be one creator. Second thing, if there's multiple creators, that means that there's like some type of like a like board of directors. And how would they ever decide if they create or not? What if there's a difference of opinion? They would be arguing amongst each other. So there would have to be only one creator who is supreme and sovereign in their sort of knowledge. Does that make sense? Oh no, yeah. Right? That makes sense. That makes right? sense. There's only has to be one. What about you, Ori? You're even listening. Are you here? I've been listening. He's listening. You just turned your back on no, me. No, I'm sorry. Never turn your back. I stand right here, man. All right. Stop playing with me, all right? What religion do you follow? Christianity. Do you believe Jesus was God or Jesus was son of God? No, uh, Jesus was son of God. Son of God? So he, Jesus is not God? No. But do you believe Jesus was son of God or a prophet or a messenger that he sent? Uh, to be honest, um, he is... Well, like, <laughs> like, Jesus was just the son of God, like. Well, how do you know he was the son of God, though? If God is all, all ever living, right? Yeah. God, God wasn't born, right? Does God die? No, God can't die. God's not born, God doesn't die. So if God's not born and God doesn't die, how could he give, how could he have a son? <laughs> Wow. Think about it. Think about it, though. Think about it. What was your religion, if you don't mind uh, telling me? Uh, my grandma is very... She believes a lot in Christianity. Christianity? Yes. And what do you believe in? I don't know. Okay. I don't associate myself with one specific thing. Okay. I just believe that there is a higher power. I Got don't it. know what it is. That, that's very pure. Yes. I have to say, that's very pure. That's very spiritual, as you mentioned, right? That you believe that there is a higher power, there's a higher creator, right? Now, this creator needs to have certain qualities, okay? It needs to have certain rules. This creator cannot die. 
Yeah. Does that make sense? It makes sense. This creator cannot get tired. Yep. Makes sense, right? It makes sense. Because a creator can't get tired, right? If you're the supreme creator, this almighty, all living, that means you have to have no causality. You have to be always in existence. Yes. Now, another thing that we have to understand is that this creator can do anything they want. But there's certain things that they don't do. The creator shouldn't be able to use the bathroom. What do you think? Okay, they want. Right? But they don't use the bathroom. They don't lie. They don't do certain actions that are low grade quality because to use the bathroom shows that they need to eat. But a supreme creator shouldn't have any needs. That's true, yeah. Makes sense, right? Uh, no needs whatsoever. No need to eat, no need to poop, no need to pee, nothing. No human type of qualities like that. What you mean, okay? Now you said that you grew up in a Christian household. You've heard the name Jesus then obviously. Yes. Right? You've heard of Jesus. Yeah. What about you, Oreo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. He believes that. Okay, he knows about something. Okay, let's go talk this, okay? Do you believe Jesus is God or do you believe he was someone sent by God? Sent by God. Sent by God. I believe. Sent by God. Yeah, yeah, talk to him. I think it makes more sense that Jesus is a version of God that, like, God sent down, like, him in a human form. Okay, so let me ask you a question, my friend. Do you believe that God can be born? Yes. So this would go against our axiom that we established, that God has to be ever living. He cannot die. If he can't die, then he can't be born. You understand? We see what we got over here. So that means another quality God can have, he cannot be born. Based off of this reason by itself, you cannot say that Jesus is God reincarnate. Just for that reason, based upon our axioms of who God needs to be. Now, we believe, I believe, that Jesus' peace of blessings be upon him was sent by God, just like you guys said, right? Why was he sent by God? To teach teach the people how God would like to be worshipped. Certain messengers were sent with books, right? We hold the Torah, right? The Injil, which is known as the modern day Bible, okay? The modern day Bible. And I'm sure you guys know, historically speaking, it's been some addition, subtractions from the Bible, yes? We're aware of things like that. So much so that, my friend, that the word Bible is not even in the Bible. So even the word Bible is man-made. That's problematic, right? Even the word God is man-made. Think about that. That's why people have a concept with God, okay? So the question is, what is God's actual name? How did he reveal his name to his messengers and to the people? So God revealed his name to Moses, Abraham, Jonah, Jacob. You've heard of these names before. Jesus, peace and blessing be upon him. And the last and final prophet, Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, as the name Allah. You ever heard of Allah? Yeah. Allah. Right? Yeah, right. Allah means the worshipped one. No gender. We said he shouldn't have a gender, right? It means the worshipped one. The creator, your sustainer, your provider. Not someone eternal. Does not beget, nor was he begotten himself. He has no needs and there's nothing like him. Nothing like him whatsoever. Now, the last and final prophet, Muhammad, you ever heard of that name before? Which one? Muhammad? Yeah. You heard of Muhammad before, yeah. right? A few times. Yes. Have you guys seen, can we have a Quran over here, guys? This is the Quran. You ever heard of this I book before? Yeah. You've heard of this before. Hold yeah. this for a second, my friend. What do you know about it? I don't know much about it. Not much. No. Right. Not much? Just about this Islam. Okay, it's related to Islam, yeah, right? It's a beautiful religion. Yes, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, yes sir, right? Yes sir. Now, the Quran is the final testament sent to mankind. So you know how the Bible contains the Old Testament? It contains the New Testament? This is the final testament. This testament has never been changed, never been altered. Go anywhere in the world, one book. That's pretty powerful. Yes. Right? That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you go to a, a Catholic versus a Protestant Bible, there's a missing of seven books. Some believe seven books exist are word of God. Some believe seven books are not words of God. That's problematic. You understand? Yeah. There is no discrepancy within anyone. And on top of that, this was compiled during the life of the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad was the last and final messenger sent to mankind, here to confirm the message of Jesus, the message of Moses. This is not a new message. This is the same message that Jesus brought, the same message that, Jesus, uh, that Moses brought, but it is uncorrupt, untouched by man. This is the divine speech of the Almighty given to the Archangel Gabriel. You ever heard of the word, uh, the angel Gabriel? Yeah. Yes, the angel Gabriel was sent and Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, was reciting whatever the angel told him to recite, which was the verbatim word of God. So when you read this with an open heart, it will connect with you on a different level because you look like you all, I'd argue, you all look like truth seekers. Could I say that's fair? Yeah, that's fair. But I, I'd say you guys are sincere truth seekers, right? That makes sense, right? And I could tell from the vibe that I'm getting from you guys, right? So I wanted to give you all the Quran. Is that okay? A really quick, this is a gift from me to you guys. Is that right? This, my friend, 
is a Quran. Have you ever heard of this before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, yes? boy, uh, my boy is Muslim. No way. Yeah. Do you have a Quran? Of your own? I don't have my own, no. Okay, this is your first one. This is a gift from us to you, right? What I want you to do this, my friend, is with a sincere heart and an open heart, my friend, I want you to read this to seek knowledge. Not so that you can convert. Yeah. We don't want none of that. Yeah. We want you to just be an earnest seeker of truth. If that's what you can do with full conviction that look, I want to learn more about what other people believe. So perhaps you can even get closer to your friend. Cool. So understand his friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would be a great opportunity. What do you think? Understand. My guy, yeah, yeah. may the Almighty continue to bless you, my guy, okay? Join me and IslamNet as we make history in building the first of its kind Dawa Center and Masjid in the country of Norway. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to support this amazing initiative and let's make it happen. Now, this is something that I want you guys to explore no catch no nothing explore it go for it do what you guys gotta do and you know what you can check out my Instagram or my YouTube you're gonna see this on YouTube by the way and go check it out you guys are probably gonna be famous or something like that don't get don't get don't get a bigger head bro okay relax on the cloud okay relax on the cloud all right and people are gonna be calling you Oreo that's, name that's, with you, bro. that's done that's done for you you feel me listen I appreciate you guys thank you so much for your time and lots of love and respect my friends okay lots of love for my name is SQ check out the channel it's called way of life SQ Way of life SQ. For real, let's get you a new ice cream. <laughs> sure. Yeah? Let's get you a new ice cream. Come on. We gotta get him a new ice cream.